Hello guys, welcome back to another update video on my multiplayer game. If you're new here, this is my multiplayer game I'm working on. A first person action shooter game with multiple game modes that can be played in a variety of team sizes. Now that you're up to speed, let's start by looking at the new Testing Grounds map. This is the Testing Grounds. It's basically an arena floating high in the clouds. This arena is a mirror image on either side consisting of large towers that are a great place to snipe from, interiors for close combat, and even a tunnel system that runs underneath the map. You can get to the top of the towers using the levitation lifts. Around the map you will also find jump pads that you can use to quickly launch yourself into the action. So yeah, that's the new testing grounds map. It's already been playtested during our last two playtests, and so far I think it's well liked and overall plays good. The one part of the map that is lacking would be the tunnel system. Players rarely use it because most of the action is always on the surface, so I might need to make some further tweaks there. Another question I was getting a lot was if I'm keeping the grey prototype texture look, and the answer is yes. I wanted this map to have a prototype look and feel, and this prototype texture I think does just that. Also, it kind of makes sense since the map's name is Testing Grounds, right? It's also a bit of a tribute to an old map from my first multiplayer game. Let me know what you think of this new map below that like button. The next thing I added is the new UMP SMG item. At this point, adding new items to the game is getting fairly easy. I start by modeling the item. In this case, I grabbed the UMP SMG model from my old multiplayer game I made a few tweaks to it and applied one of my custom texture palettes to the model. Then in Unity, I set up the item prefab and adjusted all the required properties in my gun class. So this here is the server's UMP item prefab. You can see here are all the properties for the gun class, for example, damage, fire rate, ammo properties. And so I do also do the same thing on the client UMP item prefab. I set all of its properties as well. And here it is in the game. The UMP has a fast fire rate and is most effective at short to medium ranges. Not a single line of code was written to add the UMP SMG item. The way I built my item system makes it really easy to add new items that use the existing functionality by just modifying all these parameters for that new item. Moving on, I implemented a new item type, Rollable Items. The first two throwable items are the Frag and Flash Grenades. Left click to throw them far, or right click to just throw them short. The frag grenade explodes, doing large amounts of damage to any nearby players. The flash grenade pops, blinding players within a very short range or facing the flash grenade. So yeah, throwables. I hope they can be put to good use, maybe get a multi-kill with the frag. This is the moment for a grenade, please, please. I didn't get anybody. <laughs> or use the flash to blind your opponent, leading to an easy kill. Get flashed! Haha! <laughs> and of course, I'll be adding more throwable items in the future. Smokes, molotovs, maybe gas grenades? We'll have to wait and see. During the game, if you wanted to choose what items you spawned with, I was using these temporary dropdowns in the bottom right of the pause menu. Now I've added a more permanent loadout selection radio menu. By using the default key B, a radio menu opens for each item slot of your hands. You can then select an item slot which opens a secondary radial with all the different items you can equip. So let's choose the AWP as my primary, the knife as my secondary, and the flash grenade as my utility. Now I will have these items the next time I respawn. So let's just do slash kill to commit suicide. There we go, now I have these items. You can also open the loadout selection menu in the lobby so you can choose what items you will spawn with the next time the game first starts. Also, you might have noticed that I've added a third item slot to your hands, acting as the utility slot for grenades. I'm not sure how the hand and eventually inventory system is going to work yet, so the number of item slots and how they will work exactly will potentially change in the future. So yeah, that's the loadout selection menu. It works well and is much easier to use than the old temporary solution. Okay, now let's talk about the chat updates. I've separated the kill feed messages from the chat. They now appear as part of a new feed in the top right. This feed will include anything that needs broadcasted to all players. For example, when playing Capture the Flag, a message appears in this feed when the flag is picked up or captured. 
When chatting, using the default key tab, you can now toggle between chatting with your team or all players. This way, during team games, you can send messages that you only want your team to see. You can now cycle through your sent chat history. This is mostly useful for admins so they can bring back recent commands they've run so they can easily run them again. Speaking of commands, my command system was quite a mess code-wise, so I also went ahead and reworked all the code related to commands to be more dynamic and clean. Once again, this will just allow me to add new commands to the game in the future much easier. Okay, lastly, let's look at a bunch of small adds and tweaks. Starting off, a ding sound is now played when you successfully kill a player. It's quite satisfying, actually. When in the death screen, the player who killed you is now outlined, making them easier to spot. And lastly, I added damage indicators. These indicators point in the direction you are taking damage from, making it easier to identify where the enemy player is, so you can react accordingly. Once again, that's it for this update. The gameplay you have been seeing is from the playtests I run on my Discord server, so make sure to join the Discord server using the link below. Click on the playlist in the end card to watch all my other update videos. I hope you liked this update video, and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, thanks for watching. Zippy out.